Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a new SBC and no, it is not the Awar card yet. We are going to be making a conversation video later about uh, Team 2 uh, potential SBCs that could be coming out in the future, all of that good stuff. But for now, guys, we are going to be taking a look at, forgive me if I didn't say his, I don't say his name right, but Tyler Maglor. We'll call him Maglor for the sake of the review. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot one, low high work rates, right footed, two star skills, two star weak foot. He has really, really high pace. For a card like this, do I still give him a shadow chemistry style? Because he gets a plus eight, plus eight. Interceptions is there. What are most people giving him? They're probably giving him a Sentinel, but Sentinel wouldn't make sense. Like, giving him the extra pace is going to be important. Anchor or a Shadow? Um, what's his body type? Body type is high and stocky with 6 foot 1 height. No, I'm going gi to give him a Shadow. I want to give him a Shadow, guys, because I want to kind of compensate for the body type as much as possible. Because if he has that body type already with physical stats that are already there... I don't mind that because he already has 91 strength, 84 aggression. So that's solid. If I can give him a plus eight, a plus eight, plus eight while boosting the rest of his defensive stats as it is, I feel like that's going to be more important. Yeah, we're going to do that instead, actually. What's going to be perfect about this is that I can actually use him in the aggressive 4 one 2 2 tactics to be able to actually try him out, which wouldn't actually be a bad thing to do because the attack is not going to be important for this. It's mostly going to be in the uh, 4 and 2 and 2 so we'll just do this on balanced direct passing 20 for this 20 for this or 25 i did do the uh, tactics video recently but this is just for the sake of the the video so we'll do the depth high we'll do the width really low yeah and then we'll play him on that right center back position okay cool um so yeah with this card guys Base card stats for pace is at 91-91, so on a Shadow Chemistry style, some pretty good upgrades. Uh, base card stats for passing is pretty solid on the card, too. Curve and stuff is low, but not necessarily a big issue for a center back. Uh, his agility is at a 92 while working with uh, a six foot one height, which is actually pretty solid for a center back. 85 for reactions, 80 for composure. Dribbling is going to be at a 70, which is uh, pretty decent. Defensive stats on the card with a shadow chemistry style is going to be good in the slide tackle standing tackle and interceptions area but he'll be low on defensive awareness at an 81 but he does have a low high work rate uh, and then last but not least for physical stats he is been working with some pretty decent aggression as well as strength to work with that body type uh, and 92 jumping to work with the height that he has so it looks decent for what it is looks decent for what it is the way that we're going to be lined up with him in game like i said is going to be in the four and two and two we're mostly going to be defending with him anyway so yeah, let's go try him out. Hopefully he's a beast. Okay, so we'll switch to the 4 one 2 and 2 immediately, and uh, hopefully we get some pretty decent highlights with him. Let's see. I just got super unlucky right there. The tracking initially wasn't actually that bad. I don't think the tracking is really going to be a problem with these guys. Honestly, it's usually not when they have good work rates. I feel like the work rate is always more important. Yeah, so right there, I was just holding out trigger to see if he would do any sort of animation to get the ball. He didn't for the interception there. Yeah, so right there, just controlling him using some L trigger. Uh, you can definitely notice that with the shadow chemistry style, his pace actually works well because of the dribbling stats that he has. So I do like that. Nice. That was just from a second man press too. I wanted to block the middle area while controlling him to see how he would kind of react. He did well defensively there. Ooh, nice slide challenge. We can continue on the run right here with him. On a white? I think he actually touched that. Oh no, I actually missed that completely. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I really wanted him to make that run to see if he would kind of like magnetize the ball there as well again. Well done. We'll switch off their possession base as well. Didn't really push the ball too far from him. Possession base again. Nice. Those situations, you just want to hold L trigger to try to just receive the ball, right? So... Oh, just drags the ball. Just have to control that area. You want to go for a driven there. Those throws are so weird, man. His transition speed is perfectly fine. I, I don't mind his body type. Just as long as you give him that shadow chemistry saw to boost his acceleration and sprint speed as much as possible, I really don't mind it at all. Oh, nice. I timed the shield really well there, too. I like that when he made that pass, my Magalore just immediately magnetizes to that ball. Like, when he was running, I like he literally pushed me to that area. Nice. Good goal there. Yeah, I honestly, I don't mind his running, guys. I, I would definitely give him a shadow chemistry style. He feels pretty cool. Yeah, see, his marking is fine. I'm going to switch to him here. Locks the area well. I like I, Honestly, marking is not, like I said, it's not really a thing that I noticed too much this year. It's more the work rates, man. And the fact that he is a low, high work rate of player is literally all you need. At least he goes for that animation right there. I appreciate that. Get that, put pressure. Oh, you know what's weird? Is that I was trying to go for a pass, but it didn't register. Maybe if I actually went for like this circle tackle, it would have been good. I don't really blame him for that. I just try to I try to make him reach for the ball because I want to try to get the pass off. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if it registers that he's in possession of it, then obviously he goes for the animation. But probably better to go for the actual challenge there. Oh, no, uh, no reach out for that, eh? For those, it's actually uh, ideal for you to press the actual tackle button for them to do the registration. Oh, good slide challenge again. Well done. See? Even the switch of play, the little acceleration there was perfectly fine, I think. Nice goal, we'll take that. <laughs> and we get it. <laughs> and we get it, let's go. There you go, get him out of position. Now accelerate with him, I'll trigger here. Goes for an animation there too. I just had to position myself a little bit better there for the... Uh, Potential cross. Oh, almost. Let's go, Maglower. Nice. That was actually me doing the slide challenge block there, too. It was solid. Good challenge again. Well done. He's a solid card, guys. I, I like him. I think he's uh, pretty sick. He's got great pace. It works well with his body type. His challenges come off great. He's going to accelerate there. Switch a direction here. I'm going to block this guy here. Keep running after him. Switch. Like, it's solid. I like it. His marking's perfectly fine here, too. That's me over committing like an idiot, but you guys get what I'm saying, though, right? Like, it's, it's, it's a solid card. Nice little first time pass. Well done. <laughs> he misplaced the pass, but the fact that I could just like L trigger just to body that guy off the uh, attacking play is kind of crazy.
Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Tyler Maglor SBC card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, we gave him the Shadow Chemistry style to boost his pace and his defense as much as possible. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I actually enjoyed using this card a lot, and I think that a card like this is definitely going to be very good for the meta of the game because of the fact that if you do give him uh, the Shadow Chemistry style, he's going to be working with 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed, but not only that, but his dribbling is actually set up really nicely with his body type. So there's a couple of things with this card. 92 agility, 78 bounce, 85 for reactions, 80 composure is fantastic for a center back, especially since he's going to be working with perfect pace stats with 91 for strength, 84, 84 aggression. It's a lot of very good stuff. Six foot one height is fantastic to work with really high jumping at 92 with the height that he's working with. The high and stocky body type that he has, my first thought when I looked at this card was that because he has that body type, you want to improve his pace as much as possible because his base card stats for physical is already set up really nicely, right? And then last but not least, for, for the uh, passing stats, it's set up fine as well. So for a center back, guys, honestly, you cannot go wrong with this card if you can link him in your team with the English links because the biggest problem with this card is obviously the fact that he plays for the EFL Championship. If you can link them to your team, like let's just say, for instance, you did some of these cards, right? So if you have this Laurent card, right, that's a green link that you can work with by itself. So it's it's a great SBC for this reason by itself. Like you can literally go with a 4-3-2-1 and you put him at left back, him at center back, him at that left center mid position, and you already have that triple link set up in that area. So it's a great SBC. I think the price of the SBC is fair especially since you can get those links in your team for your squad and use a fun but meta center back in your squad. He's very solid. I enjoyed using him a lot. I thought his body type maybe would have been a problem from time to time, but as a defender, he's actually very nice. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Oh, wait, before we leave, I always have to check this, the links, because that's the ones from, from what I have, but I want to see what else he has. So that's the typical English stuff. If you did the grant card which is more for fun, let's be honest. Um, the Graham card, right wing, so not as much there. Pask, boom, there's a, there's a link right there. So if you actually check out this squad from Giyu, you can do this. Bang, there goes another green link for you, right? And you can get like Pope as your goalkeeper and you're good to go there too. So that's not a bad thing to do as well. Um, the rest of it is generic, but the main one is the Laurent card. It's this one. I don't think he's that crazy. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think he's that crazy. He's decent. Uh, but again, it's a really cool link to work with, I think. And for you to use different squads and to have a meta-oriented center back in that area, I think it's a great SBC personally. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.